I think that people have always wanted heroes and always will. Unfortunately, sometimes the time isn't right for us because our leaders don't seem to be heroes. In the early 60s, we had Jack Kennedy, and I think that brought about a revival of the spirit of heroism. When I started, I, I, I sprung from the Depression years of this country, where the most important thing uh, was just to have a steady job. You were a very uh, successful person if you worked steadily by my lights. So my prime concern was to please the publisher, the work I did, so that I would have a steady job. And uh, I was successful at that. But after a while, I realized what I was doing was pretty meaningless, and I was doing the same thing over and over, year after year. And when we started Marvel Comics, I had been ready to quit. I figured, enough, I'm a grown man now, I shouldn't stay in the comic field any longer. And my wife said, before you quit, just for fun, why don't, you're gonna leave anyway, why don't you try doing some stories the way you think they should be done? And that's when we did the Fantastic Four and Spider-Man, and came up with sort of a new type of more realistic, more relevant, if you will, superheroes. I want to be a member of the Fantastic Four. So now let's get down to business. How much does the job pay? I figure I'm worth your top salary. Afraid you made a mistake, Spider-Man. We're a non-profit organization. We pay no salaries or bonuses. Any profit we make goes into scientific research. You came to the wrong place, pal. This isn't General Motors. Hello, police. I'd like to report a crime. No, I'd rather not mention my name. I'm just a private citizen trying to do his duty. Well, it's not the way the human torch would have handled it, but at least I'll be able to get right home and see if Aunt May needs me now. Betty is hurt because she thinks I went to the club with Liz instead of her. On top of all that, the Green Goblin is free again and may strike at any time. Why don't things ever seem to turn out right for me? Is this the price I must always pay for being... Spider-Man. We tried to have the people talk like real people. We tried to define the characters and have them stay in character. We tried to get stories that, while imaginative, still had some realism, some believability, so that the readers could relate to and believe in the stories. early 60s, it's as though there was some inspiration that hit. Everything that we came out with seemed to catch the public's fancy, and then it became fun, then I didn't want to leave anymore. 